Hello, welcome back to the Fat Hipster Channel. I'm John, and today we will be doing a review over a product that I started reviewing um, a long time ago, at least four years ago by now. That is Curious Elixirs. <clears throat> if you're not sure what Curious Elixirs are, um, Curious Elixirs is a non-alcoholic cocktail line and over the years they've slowly added more and more and they're finally up to number seven lucky number seven and i happen to have gotten myself a can of the curious number seven zero percent alcohol curious elixirs boost free craft cocktail and this one according to this chart they have here is the curious champagne cocktail and in this little graphic they show one through seven and all the flavors and tasting notes and names of each one just pomegranate and growing spicy marg stark and stormy curious collins cucumber collins sicilian spritz boil orange green mandarin smoked cherry chocolate old-fashioned coconut oat milk painkiller and then this one is called the Curious Champagne Cocktail. Um, these are good for if you're uh, avoiding alcohol for different reasons. It does say on here, curiously, if pregnant, avoid Curious Number Three since it contains ashwagandha, a known abortive patient. Interesting. And on the other side, it says how to enjoy. Uh, the first thing it says is says a chill. They're shelf stable for a year. Keep uh, they keep they taste best when stored in the fridge. Invert gently to to remix before opening. And then it says what to put in each one: ice, uh, what kind of cup, and any um, accoutrements. For number seven, it says serve up in a coupe, optional lemon peel or honey. So. With my number seven, even had like a picture of a coupe glass right there in the back. Of course, have a coupe cup, and of course, I have a lemon peel. It smells very lemony. I've inverted this a few times. Let's pour it into our coupe glass. There we go. That's our champagne cocktail, and I'm going to add I'm going to pinch it just a little bit, give it a little twist before I throw it in there. There you go, your number seven curious elixir champagne cocktail. I'm going to smell it out of the can because these just smell like lemons. Interesting. Got a little bit on my nose, but it smells kind of like a when you mix um, the powder with the water for spackle to put on your wall, kind of thing. That's what it kind of reminds me of, which is kind of weird. This one just smells like lemons. Because I've never feel I squeeze on there. Let's give it a taste. It's like a light, slightly bitter, not like overly bitter. It's very light in flavor in general. But the main thing I'm getting is like bitterness, like a lot of citrus rind. I know there's a citrus rind right in my drink, so I'm actually going to do. I'm going to taste straight from the can because the, the, the little citrus rind there might be a little bit interfering with that. It's just more bitter.
it's not terribly bitter and all the flavors are very light um, I would suggest you put this lemon peel in it they also suggest add honey to it that might actually work okay I don't hate it but I will say it might be my least favorite of all the curious cocktails that I've had um, and it's all because it has a smell reminiscent of like construction materials it's mainly like plaster and it has like a bitter taste that I don't know if plaster tastes like that but it might um, but it's like I said it's a very light flavor so it's not like it's like punching you in the face with that bitterness or smell but uh, it doesn't have a lot of flavor or smell and those are the ones that you get in here um, so I will say this is probably my least favorite let's see what's in here carbonated water chardonnay grape clarified lemon juice Extracts of elderflower, green tea, and jasmine, lavender, juniper, gentian, and lemon zest. That's chardonnay, grape, lemon, elderflower, green tea, and jasmine. I think it's the green tea jasmine combination that's giving it that bitterness to it. It's, it's interesting. Like I said, it's not terrible, it's just. Out of the ones I've had before, it's not my favorite. Um, the last one I had, the number six, uh, it was like a very eggnog type cocktail, and that was probably my favorite one that I've had. So it's interesting to have my favorite and my least favorite back to back. If you're just using this for a champagne toast, it'll probably work fine. Because champagne is kind of bitter as well there you go curious number seven that's my review hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel we'll see you on the next one bye for now